According to Buckingham Palace, Queen Elizabeth II has tested positive for COVID. The news was announced on Sunday in a statement that read, quote, Her Majesty is experiencing mild cold-like symptoms, but expects to continue light duties at Windsor over the coming week. She will continue to receive medical attention and will follow the appropriate guidelines. This news comes roughly two weeks after the Queen marked the 70th anniversary of her accession to the British throne and months after she was briefly hospitalized for an undisclosed ailment. BBC News reported that it's understood that a number of people have tested positive at Windsor Castle, where the Queen, who is fully vaccinated, has lived and worked since the start of the pandemic. It's also the same place where Queen Elizabeth met Prince Charles and other guests this same month. A royal source told BBC News that Prince Charles had visited his mom on February 8th, and then on February 10th, Clarence House announced that Prince Charles had tested positive for COVID for the second time. Then, a few days later, it was revealed that Camilla had also contracted the virus. But despite testing positive for COVID, the royal family still put out a statement on the Queen's behalf to congratulate Great Britain's curling teams on their recent successes at the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. The message read, quote, I send my warming congratulations to the team GB women's curling team on your outstanding performance in winning the gold medal at the Beijing 2022 Olympic Winter Games, following the silver medal achieved by the men's curling team yesterday. I know that your local communities and people throughout the United Kingdom will join me in sending our good wishes to you, your coaches, and the friends and family who have supported you in your great success.